Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to talk about the Aperture Fresnel 2X. My channel is sponsored by Adorama, which buys me time to create these type of videos without the influence from any specific camera brand. I personally shop at Adorama for their great deals on a wide selection of products as well as their support of those products down the road. So if you're interested in any of the products discussed in today's video, please use the links in the description below. So I've talked in the past about using a Fresnel modifier as a great way to take control of light. The Fresnel lens was something that was originally designed for lighthouses as a way to efficiently concentrate and project light. And today in photography, they're most notably used for creating the old Hollywood style look, uh, just because of their synonymous use on stages and movies in the past. On the spectrum of light modifiers, the Fresnel is a harder light modifier simply because it's a smaller light source than big umbrellas or big soft boxes. But it's undeniably one of the best ways to control the look of light over a small area. One of the unique things about a Fresnel lens is as you move it further away from your light source, it actually concentrates the light into a tighter and tighter area. This is why most Fresnel type modifiers have some form of zooming, that way you can control the spill of light. So if you're unfamiliar with Aperture, they create LED lights and light shaping tools. They create everything from really small LED panels to large panels, and now they're developing these RGB panels, but some of their most popular lights would be the Aperture 120D and 300D. Those are probably their most popular products because they are bones mount single source LEDs that are very quiet, a product that I've lusted after for a while and still don't have. So of course, in addition to making all of those LED products, they also make light modifiers, such as this Aperture Fresnel 2X. Now it's called the 2X because not only is it their second edition Fresnel, they had a generation one Fresnel product that they made that was also Bowens mount for their 120 and 300D, but it's called the 2X because this is two times more efficient at concentrating light than the original version. Now, I never used the original Fresnel, so I'm not going to comment on this one's differences from the original Fresnel, but I will tell you everything that I love about this one. First thing I wanna get out of the way though is while this is a Bowens mount, it is unfortunately not gonna be compatible with everything Bowens mount. And that's because the Fresnel 2X utilizes a dual lens design. So it has this front lens, which is the Fresnel lens, the rib shape that we're all used to. And it also has this rear lens, and that's the one that takes all the light directly from the LED and then pushes it into the front Fresnel lens. Now, the rear lens is in a fixed position and it's actually not too far from the Bowens mount itself. And while that doesn't affect anything for LEDs such as the Aperture 120D or even lights like I'm using such as the Illumi 120, it does make it incompatible with a lot of flash products. I tried mounting this on my 8600 Pro, doesn't fit. Tried mounting it on the 8400 Pro, doesn't fit. Unfortunately, anything with a large omnidirectional bulb that sticks out really far from the Bowens mount isn't going to fit in the Fresnel 2X. But I was able to use this with the 8200 on all three heads simply because you have the ability to pull the 8200's omnidirectional bulb far enough back to actually mount the Fresnel 2X in front of it. And you can get it over the 8200 round head, although it's a really tight fit. Now, while I will say that it's a little annoying that the rear lens unfortunately restricts you from using it on lights like the 8600 Pro or the 8400 Pro, I understand why they did it. The rear lens just makes sure that all the light projected goes right into that front lens rather than leaking out of the corners of this product. For instance, I was previously using this Impact Fresnel, which has no rear lens, and light would leak out of the side, out of these holes, out of this little gap. Um, basically, anywhere that light could escape, it would, and it would show up as these really fine patterns on whatever the light was hitting, so a lot of times it would show up in my images. So that's one of the reasons that I was looking for something to replace this. Now you can see when looking side by side how much beefier this Aperture Fresnel 2X is and it's definitely a little bit heavier but it's not an enormous difference however this one just feels way better made and that shows in what you can use it on because this can handle up to 300 degrees which means you can throw it in front of pretty much any LED lighting product whereas this one it advises you directly on it 
not to put it in front of any LEDs drawing up to 150 watts. So I don't know if I even feel safe putting this on a 120 watt light, let alone a 300 watt LED. The zoom feature is really smooth, especially when it's on a device. It just extends and contracts in a really, really smooth pattern. I also appreciate that they put the degree spread on both sides of it. So depending on what side of the device you're modifying, whether you're kind of stepped up over top the light and zooming it in, or if you're down below it and modifying, you can see the degrees that you're at no matter where you are positioned. Now the only ventilation on the Fresnel 2X is going to be on this back part right here as well as the back part of the front lens. And the good thing about that is since this is pushing all that light forward, that means there is no light leak whatsoever on this. Also, this zoom range is way more accurate than the zoom range that I found on this impact for now. This is supposed to go all the way down to 10 degrees. This one goes down to 12 degrees. However, when I zoom these both in, this is a tighter pattern of light. All of those things just make the Fresnel 2X really good for concentrating light onto a background or putting an accent light or hair light somewhere specific without lighting your entire set. So if you need an idea of just how good a Fresnel modifier can be at concentrating light, let's take a look at what happens when we put this in front of an LED with no modifier. F2 and zero tenths of a stop. F2.8 and one tenth of a stop. F4 and five tenths of a stop. Zoom F2.8 and four tenths of a stop. So overall, as a photographer, I'm a little bummed that this doesn't work on all my lights like the 8600 Pro and the 8400 Pro, but it's a great light shaping tool for Bowens mount LEDs as well as the 8200. Far better than those grids that they give you with the AKR1. And even though this thing is very rugged, I do appreciate the fact that they include a soft case for it. At $120, I do think it's a very good value so long as you're using it on lights that it'll be functional with. And I think it's a far more rugged light shaping tool than the Impact Fresnel that I've previously discussed using. If you have any questions about the Aperture Fresnel 2X, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And until next time, keep on shooting.